awesome YouTube people. How you guys doing today? Hey, we have something really cool to share with you today. We're here to share that we saved a bunch of money by switching to a DIY airbrush cleaner. And it not only saves you money, but it works just as good as the stuff you buy pre-mixed off the counter. And we're going to show you in our experiment how to do it. So, first thing we want to talk about is, you know, we've been using this to clean our airbrush. And so we're really, we ran out of a couple of bottles of that and we realized, you know what, there's probably a cheaper way. So we looked up a couple of really good videos on, on how to do this and we put our own twist on it because we're going to make a big quantity of it so we don't have to do it like, you know, every other week. So what we're going to do first is I put some uh, Createx blue in uh, in this wicked blue and Sorry. we're going to get it dirty and we're going to dry it. So we're just going to spray through the air gun a little bit. See, just like that. And on this napkin so that you see that we have actually got it dirty. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set it aside and we're going to save you some money. That's the whole idea. We want to save some money. So we're going to test out this theory of making, you know, the inexpensive airbrush cleaner. So while that's drying and it's drying in the cup over here and it's about 92 degrees in here, yep. it's pretty hot. It's going to dry really fast. So we're going to use that as our experiment. In the meantime, we'll mix some of this up, and we're going to mix up a big quantity of it. And by the way, it was really cheap, right, CJ? Yeah, uh, it was. We already got about two it was bucks there. Two dollars there, four dollars here, four dollars here, uh, ninety-eight cents 98 there. Ninety-eight cents at Winco. And this was that was six ninety-nine. Well, actually, I got a twenty-five percent off discount at Michaels, and I think it turned out to be in about five dollars and ten cents something like yeah. that. So about five bucks, a little bit over five bucks for that. So, but we're going to make... Bucks, 10 bucks, like, 10, 11 bucks yeah, total. Right? So, just a little over the cost of one of these 200 milliliter bottles that are already pre-mixed. So, what we've got here is really simple, and this is really simple. Um, we came up with a formula based on a couple of different videos, and we tweaked it what we thought would be, like, the best one for a cleaner. And what do we come up with? 200 milliliters. 400 milliliters oh, 400, of water. 400 milliliters of pure life, just distilled, distilled water. water, right? Okay, so if we can figure out the idiot proof way to get this off. There we go. It's coming off now. So we're going to do 400 milliliters. milliliters. Like that. Right at that mark right yeah. there. Okie dokie. Yep. A little bit further, yeah. Right about there. So yep. there's 400 milliliters of our water. Okay, and then we're going to put it in our gallon jug with our handy dandy. Another interesting way to do this is to mark it off. When you've got these ingredients in, if you put a mark on your bottle, you won't have to use the measuring cup next time. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. If you wanted to dedicate it to doing, like, this stuff. Um, but I okay, recommend so using a Sharpie. The next the next thing we're going to add, because the soap is the same amount, right? Right. Okay, 400 so milliliters. the next 400 milliliters of this. Now, everybody said Windex and, and all window of that. Window washer. Window washer. Oh, yeah, windshield washer from your car, which, you know, probably works. Yeah, but, but that's expensive. We went cheap. We went just this bottle of Simple Green. And it's all-purpose cleaner. That's all it is. Just simple green, all-purpose cleaner. So we're going to set that one aside so for the moment. we need to pull moment. this off. Yeah, let's pull that go. little tabby thing off. And now we're going to do 400 on this yep. one. Simple as that. So we're getting right up to about 400. Oh, there right you about go. there. Okay, and then we'll put this thing back in. You might want to put this little tabby back in because that keeps it from evaporating. Oh gosh, we wouldn't want that. Well, it does have alcohol in it, so. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. So we got the the cap back on that one. So far, we're doing pretty good, right? Okay. So next uh, next thing we might want to do is no. We pour it into the gallon. Oh right, right. Duh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, even guys like me can do this. Oh, come on. There we go. You might want to pull out an old towel you use for other stuff for this, like we did here, this airbrushing towel. Okay, so there we go. Now, now we hmm, need look 200. At that, look at that so far. Yeah. Ooh -wee. Okay. 200 milliliters of 91% isopropyl uh, alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, isopropyl. Purple. It's purple. Okay, let's go through there you know all these childproof caps man I tell you really stretches the imagination trying to get it off oh my goodness gracious holy cow there we go all right 200 milliliters so we're gonna spin this around so you can see it and we can see it and we'll do that right up to about 200 Give or take. Right there. Right about there. Okay, so now we got our ice. You need a little bit more. Full. You're not. You're not nah, all the way. No, okay. you're not all the way up to the line. Good. Oh hey, it's got a hop. Got a little flip top to it. Okay, so next that goes in the mix. Hopefully we don't burn the house down. Kind of looks like, uh, ooh, it's bubbling. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. That is a good sign. Okay, last, this was a little harder to find. We actually, I found it at Michael's, and, you know, Michael's is really great because you can always get, like, the 25% off discount. So, it was about five bucks, a little over five bucks. I'll shake it up a little bit. You're going to need a pipette. A pipette. Oh, that's right. We do this one in drops. And we needed... How many drops? 40 drops. 40 drops. Which, I don't know what 40 drops would turn out to be if you were doing it like... Um, pouring it. You know, like pouring it in a quantity. I'm sure we could figure it out. And we probably will. Uh, we'll grab a pipette and... Okay, so we're going to squeeze the ball. Ah, let's, let's go the other way. Let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we've got a sum total of 40 drops there. So notice that it's not really very messy. So actually not too bad. So we'll set that off to the side along with that one. Get us so now compare that. Hmm. Here to there. Look at the size of that thing. I don't know. So far it seems like we're saving money already. But what if we made double that or triple that? Excuse me, even. Alright, so let's bring our air gun back out, our airbrush back out. And we'll just kind of make sure, and we're confirming that there's still some in there. So the first thing we probably want to do is we want to get rid of this stuff. So I'm just going to, there's not very much paint in there. And we're just going to dump it in there for right now. Grab us another one of these. And so this is just a couple of little tips on how to clean your airbrush. So normally speaking, I would take one of these and I would squirt some in it and I would wipe the bowl out with a fresh um, paper towel see notice how it's kind of leaked down and stuff like that but so since we're doing this one we'll grab this and what would be the best way yeah but it's going to be kind of hard for me to do this with one hand so I'm going to set the airbrush aside just for a second and let's put it, we'll put a little bit in the bottom of here so we can use a, a brand new fresh pipette. And we got some back there. 
So we'll set that aside. And I'll bring the airbrush just to confirm that it's still the same airbrush. By the way, that's an Eclipse HPCS. So it's pretty, pretty common. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure all of the paint's out of it. Just not, you know, kind of a no-brainer. We're just going to kind of squirt most of the paint out. I got one. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. Um, and we'll take a paper towel. And now that we're pretty much blown out all of our stuff, all we're going to... All we're going to do is take a little bit of our mixture here and we'll throw it in there and let's we'll see if it's working. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, handy tool. These little guys are available at Hobby Lobby and all they are is a little teeny brush. They're a nylon brush, so as long as you clean them out, you can use them forever. I kid you not. So I'm just going to scrub the inside of the bowl now this might be a little harder for you to see but we'll get it up close so you can see it once we're done so it is absolutely taking care of all anything it touches inside this bowl is already come out that's that's pretty cool because that looks just about like so there's a there's your view you probably i don't know if you can see that or not but um it's pretty clean in there already but so i'm going to just rub the sides just like i normally would you know this isn't anything that's like super better or anything we just want to figure out a way to save some money on our airbrush cleaner okay so it's looking pretty clean in there i'm going to take as i would anyways and so before we start blowing it out and put another one in there and just kind of work it around a little bit before we start blowing it through okay and scrub way down inside that bowl just like that and i'm gonna hit a little bit with the tip just to clean it up so that that always is a problem area with these little eclipses as far as cleaning if you leave this little tip on right here, they tend to get paint in them and they build up, as you can see right there, right? Okay, so long story short, here we go. We got this one. We're going to dump this now one more time and check our bowl. It's looking pretty clean in there, guys. Then I'm going to take just a... paper towel and we'll just rub that bowl out now that looks pretty clean i'd say we're in good shape here because the only thing you'll have to do is well yes we'll clean up a little bit of the spill from the outside but the only thing really left to do at this point is to take something like this these are available hobby Lobby. they're available everywhere you can you can find these in anywhere you can find airbrush supplies and i'm going to just take just a little bit of this and I'm going to stick it in there. And, of course, there's a little color in there. And then we'll just go ahead and run it. Now, normally I would wear some kind of uh, uh, respiratory protection. But I can't do that if I'm going to be talking on a video. So we're just going to run some air through it. Let's see. Make sure our brush is on. That does help. So far, so good. And, hey, while we're at it, you know what? We could probably take a little bit of this and just put it on a paper towel just a, just a little bit so that we can kind of clean up the exterior of the paper towel. See how it does. See if it's pulling. Oh, it's pulling it right off, you guys. Exterior I think we're pretty sold on this so far. Holy cow. Yeah. Pretty neat. Right there. Mm -hmm. Got it. I see it. Yep, comes right off. Even the stuff that's dried comes right off. It's looking pretty good so far. That's a good sign. Okay, well, our compressor is just about pulled up here, right up to where we have it set. And let's just blow it out. Let's see what happens. So normally with the other brand... I would run it a couple of times 
So I do one and then, and notice I haven't even pulled the needle yet. I haven't even pulled the needle out because I would normally pull the needle out. So there's still a little bit in there, but we'll go ahead and run this one more time. We'll pull the needle out and see just how well we did. Clean the needle off, put it back in, see if it's working. It really appears to be doing a pretty good job, you guys. We're hopeful to save a few bucks. Okay, well, it's clean in there. So let's go ahead, just for fun, and we'll go ahead and we'll pull the needle out real quick and take a look. Okay, so there's still, this is completely normal. There's just a teeny bit of color left on the needle, right? Then we'll push the needle back in and tighten it up and just a teeny bit and normally speaking i would be pretty close to done so i'm going to throw a little bit more of our cleaner in there just like that and when it's all done we'll just see it all gone oh yep yeah, pretty much all gone okay look at that right can you see that clean so absolutely save yourself some money um honestly since we looked at these guys some people say windex some people say oh windshield washer fluid yeah windshield washer fluid the point is is to get something that's not heavy in alcohol because you're already putting out no in ammonia it, right so you want to do something like that you know, I don't know how much easier and how much more clear we can make it for y'all. Set that aside. So this is what you need right there. Right? You need distilled what? water. Right? Some kind of cleaner. Windex Simple Green works really good. I'm I'm so impressed. I was not I held out a long time for this. So I I just didn't think it was gonna work. Because I did rubbing alcohol, it. yeah, my honey definitely kicked in there and said, why don't you give this a try? And then glycerin. A little harder to find, but it can be found not only online, but at Michael's. Uh, a lot of folks have that available to them. So enjoy, man. Save yourself some money. Make up some. And when we're done here, I think we're going to double up our recipe and make us up a gallon. We won't have to touch that for probably a year. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. We hope we saved you some money today. Go out and give it a try. It's really easy. And if you learned something, please consider subscribing to our channel. It does help small YouTube channels like ours to grow. Thanks for watching.